this beat got me feeling like this Chips Ahoy cereal. Firstly, you will have to fold the paper in half. And it depends on what size you're making. Um, if you guys are making like this big 3D paper squishy, you guys can just cut this part, but I'm gonna make a big cereal one. So it's gonna be around here, but I'm just gonna trim the paper to make it a little bit smaller, so yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm just going to trim it a little bit. So now my squishy is going to be this size. Yeah, so now I'm going to do a time lapse of sketching my design and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm nearly done. I kind of did a mistake on the lettering because it's a little bit big, but I think it's fine. So now I'm just adding the um, chips inside, like the design, and I'm also going to draw the milk. So yeah, it's just going to be like that, and it's going to be like a lot of chips around here. So yeah, I think my design is pretty okay and I'm going to kind of sketch the lettering. Okay guys, so now I'm done with the sketch. Now I'm going to pick the colors for the coloring. So um, we will use the screen for the titles. Um, and I'm also going to be using dark blue and black, maybe to outline it and stuff. So yeah, we also have this color for the background, and I'm also going to use this one too. We also have red and brown. So we use a skin color, this one, and a dark brown. For like the designs on the cookies and stuff. So yeah. And yeah, that's basically it for all the colors. Let's start coloring. Okay, so I'm going to start coloring at the title. Just to show you guys how my marker looks like, it's really good and that's why I really recommend um, Crayola Super Tips. It's really nice. And I use this whiteboard um, because in case my coloring um, went on the floor or something because I don't usually leave a mark there. So yeah, I'm just gonna color this part. And sometimes I do outline the title and stuff with black, like thin marker pens, but sometimes I don't. Let's go ahead and color the rest in a time lapse. Yeah, so now I'm going to use this um, brown marker to make the designs on the cookies. Yes. I'm just going to make little
Okay guys, so I'm quietly done with the designs. Now I'm going to rub off the pencils because there are some pencil sketch in here, here and stuff. So I'm gonna rub it off. Okay guys, so now we've done the designs and yeah, I totally forgot at the first place to tell you guys that you guys will also need some cotton for these cookies or like polyfill or something. So this is how the cotton will look like. It's gonna be like kind of like a polyfill. If you guys have it, it's great. But if you guys don't, you guys can use plastic bags or like um makeup cottons or something or you guys can cut up old squishies that you guys don't need for to put it in the squishies so i'm going to use around this much cotton if you guys will need more you guys can add more i'm gonna use around this much the step of stuffing the cotton inside is right now your squishies are gonna be like that right you guys will need to cut off the edge just like a little bit so like it's not stick up together so it's like two, two pieces of paper so now it's like two pieces of paper for this one i'm making a cereal so i will have to do the sides of the squishies also so i'm gonna cut this part i will also have to color it so yeah let's go ahead and color these sides you guys can, I'm going to do the same um, the same color as over here, and then when you put the sides together, it'll be like the same color. Okay guys, so I've went ahead and made another strip of paper, because I don't think it's going to fit well if there's only one, so yeah. So I've made two of them, and now let's stick them to the sides. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You're gonna use one strip of paper first and you're just going to put it here right? so I just put tape on top of the strip of paper and then I just make sure it's the right place and I just stick them in like that and um, if there's a corner here I will just have to fold it and then I just add it on. So you just do it like this, and now it's like a mark like that. Grab some tape and put it on the piece of your drawing. And just stick it on like that so you fold the tape in. Add some more tape, and I'm just going to make sure it's neat. It's gonna be a little tricky for um, you guys if you guys just started making 3D ones, but yeah. So it's gonna be like that. Now I'm going to take another strip of paper, add some small piece of tape, put this on, and connect the pieces of paper together. And now I'm just going to do the same thing. Grab some tape and just fold it backwards. And now it's going to be like this, you just do the same thing, fold it, and just take these sides together. Sorry guys if I'm a, a little bit rushing because I'm not sure if that's good or not. So yeah, it's gonna look like this. And I think I, it doesn't fit, so I have to be coloring more strip of paper over here. So yeah, I'll be back coloring um, this strip of paper. So I'm finished stunning the strip of paper. Um, so now I'm just going to do the same thing. So we're gonna connect it. And by the way, you guys don't have to worry if it's not that accurate because you guys can just cut them at the end or like use tape to fix it. So now um, after that, you've connected them together. Do the same thing, you fold it. 
and you just put them like that and stick them together. So. There's a leftover, you guys can just cut it. But now I've connected all of them together, it should look like this. It's like a little basket for something, but yeah. So now we've done with the um, squishy, like if you guys have made it this far, that's a great job. Um, so now I'm gonna laminate the squishy Sometimes I do it after I make the squishy, but if the designs of like the marker will fall off, like sometimes um, the designs will rip, I do laminate it before making the squishy. So yeah, I'll be back when I laminate all of the um, designs and these sides. Okay guys, so I'm back with the laminated squishy. So now um, that the step I said, so I cut it the squishy in two pieces of paper. So you're gonna take the other one and you're just going to put it here. Take some tape. And I normally don't color my back paper squishies. Like at the back, I don't color it. But you guys can if you guys want to, but I just don't think it's that necessary. But it'll look cooler if you guys color it. So after that, you guys want to take the corner of this paper and then put it in the corner of the squishy. And then you guys just kind of tape it backwards. So now I left a hole for the cotton to put it in. So yeah, I'm going to add the cotton in. So you guys wanna take like all of them and make a pocket. So right here, we're going to add the cotton in. Just be careful if your squishy rips. And I'm just going to stuff the cotton in. When you fully stuff the cotton in, you guys want to take some tape and just close the pocket up. This part is going to be a little bit tricky, but don't worry, I'll just show you guys how to do it. So you guys want to do like this, and then place it down. Do the same thing, but it's just a little bit harder if the cotton like comes out. Yeah, so now I'm going to finish the hole. Okay guys, so now we're gonna laminate this part and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now what we've done with the squishy. If you guys have followed my tutorial and comment down below if this worked out of how you did it. And yeah, this is my favorite squishy. And okay guys, so this is the whole process of making my Chips Ahoy it cereal paper squishy. And if you guys have made these, please comment down below if it worked out. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!